Good evening, and this is another instalment of What's in the Bag, and this one is featuring, it's a double whammy this time around, and it's featuring both the Disneyland Paris Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo Challenge and the Cardiff Half Marathon. I will get to the Disney Half Marathon and the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo Challenge uh, second. Um, I will at some point put the time at the bottom of the video in the caption section so you can scroll straight to it if you like but uh, first of all and it's going to be a juicy one I have lots of things to say what's in the Cardiff half marathon goodie bag this year I hear you say well first of all I shall talk about this year's medal which is the traditional Cardiff half marathon medal which is okay uh, c considering uh, what how how Newport did on the medal front this year and last year, you would think they would up their game a bit, considering that it costs a bit more than a Newport Half Marathon. But uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe next year they'll go be a bit more adventurous with the medals. Um, second of all, the uh, Cardiff Half Marathon goodie bag, which we got at the end of the race, um, it did also come with a black Cardiff Half Marathon T-shirt, which was a bit uninspired. Um, didn't fit very well, um, had reports of it ripping when people first tried it on, the size are a bit too small. How can you know how many people are going to run based on the registrations and still run out of t-shirts? I, I, I don't understand. People were finishing at the end, finishing the Cardiff Half Marathon, the plodders in the back, I know a few, they worked hard all year round, uh, the Cardiff Half Marathon was their challenge of the year and you ran out of t-shirts. What, what, what's that about? How, how can you run out of t-shirts? Um, this, this is a bit, bit more of a, a slap in the face to these people as they were then seeing kids and their parents all with medals walking around, walking around town. How could that happen? Why, is there, why are there kids walking around town with t-shirts and half marathon medals when there's a shortage of t-shirts? I, 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 I would... I would say to myself I'm lucky enough to be able to finish in time to be able to claim a t-shirt although when I did get a t-shirt it's nothing to, nothing to shout home about otherwise as far as the Cardiff Half Marathon goes it's pretty, pretty standard it, it's a great it's a great route and it's an even better route on a good day unfortunately for that for that particular Sunday it was very 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 muggy out um, I, I really struggled um, bear, bear in mind Last year, I managed to get all through the entire route without stopping or stop starting or walking, or, or without any water in in the blazing sunshine. This year was tough. Um, Lloyd George Avenue, I think, was the point at which people were uh, starting to starting to feel it a bit. I I did feel, I did feel a bit dis a disappointment when I got home, and because I was expecting a, a, a bit of a, a lesser time. Um, but upon talking to people, I, I can I can safely say that it was felt through, throughout the field. So, so so yeah, so that's that's my gripe about um, medals and the t-shirts and how poor quality t-shirts they were. Um, you would think for the amount that Cardiff University are charging, no surprises there. They would they would put a bit more thought into the t-shirt and the finishing t-shirt considering that for the last few years they have been a quite high standard. There we go. So for, for, for first of all, so again, I've got that out of the way, um, read, reading the news, read, reading Wales Online later on in the day and, and I must say it did, it did warm my heart a little bit that people were taking their bananas, their packs of crisps that they're taking from the, from the finish line and giving them to the homeless people around the finish line which I thought was amazing anyway but um, to those of you who did that even yes it was hundreds maybe thousands of you N nicely done I, I hope yes it's brilliant um, so yeah let's get let's get on to the onto the goodie bag so here it is the, the goodie bag um, again I, I'm you know Cardiff were allowed uh, opaque goodie bags which is which is also a bonus, doesn't look like a party bag. Um, but yeah, let's, let's, let's go through what's in the goodie bag, shall we? So, let's empty this out. And I, I must say, again... Oh, 
Good, good, goodie bags are a nice thing to have at the end of the race, but you would think it's something that would be a bit, be a bit more interesting. Um, first of all, we, I think this was something that was handed out um, after, uh, behind the finishing line, outside the runner's paddock. It's, an, it's a leaflet for another run, um, an obstacle race within Cardiff, the Invincible race series. Um, hashtag the fear is here. If you want to check that out, use that hashtag. Um, an oldie leaflet telling me they're advertising the, the fruit and vegetables of the week. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, an Edinburgh Marathon Festival leaflet. We seem to get I seem to get that in it during every single race then at all. Oh, high five tablets. They're always good. Um, I've actually started to prefer the high five tablets after going off them a bit as my pre as the previous ones that I started using use artificial sweetener, which I, I personally can't eat. Um, so these have taken over as my um, electrolyte tablet of choice. So yeah, nice one. Um, L'Oreal Men Expert. All right, um, and a packet of fruit pastels. Um, I must say I've got a bit of a sweet tooth, but given uh, given I'm trying my best to stay off the whole, stay off, stay on the uh, no meat products bandwagon. Unfortunately, they're not for me. I don't think. No, nope, they're not for me. And uh, pack of the crisps. I haven't eaten them yet. Again, I'll probably eat them at some point. Just don't fancy them. So yeah, that was the uh, Cardiff goodie bag. Um, so right, so not gonna lie. <sighs> the uh, the thought of a challenge at Disneyland Paris, or rather a running challenge, was. Uh, was appealing to me because I know, given their faults, they do have some fantastic running bling. Um, so first of all, I shall bring out the, uh, the, the the Saturday 10k medal, which is ridiculous. They're they're all kind of ridiculous. Uh, as I said, the challenge was the bippity boppity boo challenge. Um, so it, so no so three guesses. Uh, what all the medals were focused around this year. Um, I'm not going to tell you, people know this stuff, we're not stupid. People love Disney, I like Disney. There are some individuals out there who like Disney, but they just don't like fun. Let's be fun, let's be fair. So, uh, the Sunday, the half marathon medal, which again, up, up their game from last year. There's even some fake, fake, bliggy crystals on there. Um, I know a couple of people, no no names mentioned, who uh, who managed to run both an American Disneyland race and in both California and Paris. They got a rather nice Cast the Chateau medal. I'm not gonna lie, have a bit of medal envy. Uh, one day that's gonna be me. Right, and because I ran those two races and completed the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo challenge, I received. The Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo Challenge Medal in all its ridiculous glory, and there's even a funky spinner on it. Yeah. Right. So uh, th 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 those are the medals, but now down to the unfortunate nitty gritty stuff. Disney, run Disney, Disneyland Paris, run Disney Paris. How can you get? such important things wrong two years in a row. How could you know the amount of people that had paid for places in one of your races and not have enough medals for it? They were ki the kids entered your 5k race. Well, they obviously didn't personally enter the 5k race being told by their parents that they were going to get a medal and when they finished there was there wasn't there was there, was, there wasn't any left for them how, how how can that happen how can that happen and then also how were people able to take more than one medal if if people are wearing a medal how are they able to 
get another one. I, 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 I just don't understand. You know, I, I've been in countless races. You, you're never allowed to take more than what, than, than you know, than what you're, what you're able to take. So, 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 so yeah. Um, that, that's my review of both the races. Uh, the Cardiff Half Goodie Bag isn't wasn't much to write home about. So yeah, that's uh, okay.